Hello guys, it's Stoke here with a update video on the server. So it's off the whitelist now. Every every ugh, every plugin is up to date. Did some work as well. So uh, this is gonna this is the new spawn house. If you're new, you'll spawn here in front of the rules. Also, you can do slash rules to find them again. I'm not gonna go over them. They're pretty basic, so read them while you log in. For here, you have the meaning of the woo lines in the landscape to know if you're in a town or not. Probably gonna do something extra as well. Here you have the server currency. The emeralds aren't in there. Some people ask, asked if they were in there and they did say that I should put them in there, but you can get them too easily. So they're worth definitely less than diamonds or gold. So I'm not going to even bother putting them in there. Okay, nice little park area and there is a bench missing. Well, yeah, here is the warehouse and pawn shop price list house. With all the prices in here, this is a sit. You have to pay the same price you get if you sell a stack of stuff. So if you want to buy a stack of chisel brick, you have to pay 40 diamonds. If you sell it, you get 40 diamonds. Pretty easy. Yeah, just leave that open. Down here. On shop that size, plot prices this side. So plot prices in front. You have the special plot price here. And don't say it's impossible to get that much diamonds because it's possible. And on the back here you have how many plots are available available of each type of plot. If there's nothing back here, then there aren't any plots. That'd be clear. That seems that that should change. Oh well. So this is the area where the pawn shop and the warehouse store their stuff. Here is the trade boot. And up here you can also check it out. More storage and the vault of course. Look at that floor. <laughs> Look at it. It's so nice and pretty. Okay, and one more thing to say, this whole spawn area and the plots are set with legit items, so nothing is spawned in. Even not that smooth stone, it's made with a block transmuter on 1.2.5. So here is the real estate and the warehouse. Warehouse, go to the spawn shop, it's easier I guess. I think I will change that system down there as well. So that's that. Now if you already if you did say you want wanted to keep one of your plots you have the middle class plots over here. It will it will say if it's taken or not. And the rich plots over here around this lake. Also a quick notice. Uh, the plots, they are numbered. Like, yeah, like here, this is a nice example. You have MC4 and it's owned by Gunai. So the plot sign, the sign basically needs to have the plot number and your name below it. So if I find plots without a, na a name on it, I will take them back. You will go back to the real estate. So don't come whining if you don't have your plot anymore. Oh and this here, those chests still need to be cleaned up and all from building. Then over here on the far end of spawn town, we have this bridge. And only this bridge here is protected, the rest around it is not protected. So then you have the ghetto area here. Also those chests needs to be cleaned up. 
see same price as before same plot sizes as well and after the ghetto you have the affordable for the moment we only have 20 ghettos and 20 affordables rich and middle class will be made in the future sky plots will be made once the end is found and the dragon is slain so that's that and like jungle plots island plots stuff like that if, the, if there is a jungle found, if there are islands found, mushroom biomes found, then there will be plots made if I have time. Let that be clear, because it's not easy to run a server and have a job at the same time and do it with all these plugins. So I think that's going to be it for this update video. So see you guys next time. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to make an intro or, a, or an outro for me, I would be very pleased if you did it. So, see you next time.